Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here to do my Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I have a feeling it's week 27, but I can't be 100% sure. My table is still the same mess as it was over the weekend, so um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, and now, I'm going to do something. I've got a lot of promissory notes and checks and things. They're vintage. Uh, probably the oldest is like 1920s. A lot of them are the mid 1900s, 1940s, 1956, but they are really lovely. Biotoni, for example, um, still exists. It's pasta. They make pasta and all kinds of like, you know, they have cake mixes and that sort of stuff. So yeah, there's all different ones and they're really cool colors, really great ephemera. So I thought I'll do something with them. They've, I mean, that just the stamps, these um, stamps or markets, sorry, Tassa di Bollo. So it's like a tax. They're like taxes. They're, they're, they're actually of great value. Um, there are people that martini, people collect them. And then there's some of the really beautiful old, um, other ones as well. And these are a little bit old, 1941. Um, look at this one. Uh, 1954 but I just love that so yeah I, I wouldn't necessarily scan these particular ones because um, they're sort of not you know they're old but not that old um, but they are super fun to use I'm, I mean certainly you could scan you know little bits and pieces of them like this maybe get a little bit of that and and do that sort of thing that could be cool um, but I don't know whether I would scan them you know, as a whole, just, I don't know, you'd probably be okay in other countries, but I'm not going to do it. This one's 1939. And just there's beautiful font on there. They're great to use. So I actually, oh, look at that one. I haven't been through all of these. Um, isn't that beautiful? Nine, oh, that's an old one, 1929. Anyway, I have some really old ones from the 1800s. Um, a couple, not many. That, so I scanned those. And because um, I saw that... Um, so you can get them also on the graphics fairy as well. But I've made packs of my original ones. And there's eight in there. And there's a mix. So you'll get, you definitely get, get um, so I have ones with borders. So I sort of group those together. Then I had the ones like this that are the prettier ones. And I grouped those together. Um, and then there were a few um, sort of smaller ones like that one. Oh, no, that one's folded. That's really pretty, that one. Um, there was there's some smaller ones so I, I made sure there was a, a good variety and there's of course in each one there's the pretty ones as well so um, and when I intend pretty that's very this one here is very pretty um, and these sorts of ones I think they're stunning those I just love them and I was just thinking sitting there I've written down a few ideas so over the next couple of weeks on on the Monday I'll be doing my Roxy's weekly challenge and I might use some of these because I've got quite a few um, I was just looking around at different people that do happy mails and stuff like that and I was thinking I could use my my um, promissory notes or checks some of these are checks some of these are promissory notes because then on the back they've got it um, when it they you know they wrote the next person it was going to sort of thing on the back sort of thing so that's what I've got in front of me um, they, those are in my shop and I've also got really um, cool which I probably should have brought them. I've got a pack of, I'm calling them special, um, more special um, invoices. And uh, they're just really pretty invoices with lot beautiful fonts like this that I haven't seen before. I had more regular sort of invoices in my previous packs. And they also have, now I can't find the ones that I pulled out before. I also had, the uh, there's um, invoices with, um, now, why am I not finding it? We, I, we just were, were just looking at it. Oh, put it somewhere. The ones where they've got like all of the pretty detail, you know, the image of the sort of buildings architecture across the top, you know, really pretty envelopes, uh, invoices. So there's one of those definitely in there and then a mix. Oh, I can't find it now. Oh dear me, I probably put it on the bottom. Did I put it on the bottom? Gosh, they're, they're pretty. Sorry, guys. So we haven't started the video yet. Even I'm just here gas bagging. Uh, you can see I've got many. I have many. I have many. This is only some of them. Oh, look, like that. But they, like, they've got the whole image right across the top sort of thing. So um, I just thought they were the most prettiest envelopes. I did. Uh, invoices. I keep saying envelopes. Why do I always want to call things the wrong thing? 
Okay, so I'll just put those aside for a second because I have another order of business before I get started. So, so then I thought, well, I want to work with the promissory notes or the checks. And I and I've got all of this is all this is all from my own personal collection. It's not from anything else. It's all from it's. I have all these pieces. Um. So I've uh, oh, this map. I got that in an antique market. It's actually about that big. It's really I really love that. I was so excited when I found that. Um. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That'd be from. I reckon that's from the 1700s. That or could even be 1600s. That illustration. So just a whole mix. See, I did that one twice because. Just to fill in the space and sometimes you need need to use it again and um and so then i had these are the really old ones that i have so i um i've got those so you could use those for this project if you didn't have any of the promissory notes that you wanted to use so you could use those so that's what i, I put that together so that will be in my shop because i'll have the link in the description box um but this would these would work for this project as well okay so i'm going to have a sip of water I'm going to look at the time. Oh, perfect. So at four o'clock we need to finish because I didn't bring my iPad in here. So I'd already folded some. So let me just, I think they've gone some. Oh, here we go. So the idea is we're going to make these sort of pockety, sort of floating pockety sort of things. So I've taken this one and I'm just going to fold it. And it's unfortunate that that's going to be upside down. Um, but, or otherwise, you know, you'd have it at the back sort of thing. But I think I don't mind it being upside down because it's so pretty. So we'll have that one. Uh, no, I didn't do this one. Um, this one I might... I think I'll fold it about here. Just fold a few. Now that one's already folded there. I wonder if I should keep that. That'll make that very tall. Well, with this one, I might even... No, I don't want to... Yeah, I could fold that one up and have a little pocket there. We'll do that one differently. Okay, we'll leave that one there. So yeah, just picking, oh, this one I had folded. So that's a sh little shorter one. You don't even know what I'm making yet, but you'll see. And that one. So I just think it's a really nice and that gorgeous. That is just so pretty. So I'm going to fold that one. That was already folded there, but I think, oh, uh, yeah, I think I'll fold it there like so. And they're quite strong. They're not fray, you know, they're not fragile. And that one's a bit thinner. But most of them are pretty um, pretty thick. So um, pretty strong paper, I think. This is a strong one. So I'll take that one. Oh, look at that. And then I'm just going to do that. Okay, so that's that. Right. Now, my next job, I'll just put these aside. We might be able to make more. Oh, and I didn't ask how you all are. How is everybody? I hope you're all well. Um, pretty, we're having two very hot days here, and then hopefully... The weather's going to change. The air is very heavy outside. So I've got this vellum. Now, someone sent this to me. I can't remember. Oh, now let me see how... To, that's not transparent enough. All right. So I'm going to pause my video. It's um, 5.15, so two minutes have gone by. I need to go and get an, uh, my other vellum because this is not um, what I want. So just it wait. It does help second. if you have your supplies ready. So anyway, I thought that other vellum paper was um, transparent, but it's not... So this is the one that I like using, 100 GSM. This is quite thick, this one. Um, they just call it transparent paper. Try, try tart, tri tart, I don't know. But it's quite a nice weight, that's two sheets there. So it's a nice weight, that one. Okay, so it's a fairly simple project, I think. So what I need to do for each one, I need to measure the width and I need my cutter. Where's my cutter? It's here somewhere. Oh, it's there. Okay, so I'll just take one piece and I'll grab a pencil and I'm going to streamline my process and do this for each one. So on the sides, I want it to be straight. So that's for that one. And I'll just tuck it in with that one. You can probably guess what we're doing. I'll probably be able to get a few out of one sheet, I hope. Okay, and I'll tuck that in there. This one, but some of them will be similar weight, some of them won't. Oh, maybe I could just measure it here without marking it. That's a good idea. Up there for thinking. So just before the four and a half inches, this one. Don't you love it? Just before the four and a half inches. So just about there. And if it were to be too big, I would just trim it down. So that's that one. Now, do I have a narrow one? 
I did have some narrow ones. Will that be all right in that one? Let's see, I can't really see. I guess I could have no. Well, that can become. Let me just see, I do have some more. There are some smaller, more narrow um, promissory notes or checks in these piles. I've just got to find one just to see that way I could use that piece. Let me see this one. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm, nope. So what is everybody up to? How was your weekend? Oh, here we go. Look at this. I told you. We can have a little narrow one. Oh, there's that one peeking out at me. I could have that one. Okay, we'll decide. Too many choices. Um, yeah, how was your weekend? I hope everyone had a great weekend. It's not too hot. So I think I might use this one. I like this one. And I'm going to fold that down like that. So decide what you, this is going to be a flap, you see. So I need to measure this to here. And it's about three and a quarter, so that's good. And I'm going to trim down this one to three and a quarter. And tuck that in there, and that is that one. So, yeah, if you don't have a um, sort of, if you don't have, if you don't um, have a promissory note or check, you can use the printable. Um, you can get printable checks from the Graphics Fairy if you want to. Um, you can also just use um, old letters; would have a similar effect, I think. Like, just cut it down into a strip. You could use decorated papers of course like you can use scrapbooking paper oh scrapbooking papers um i was thinking might be a little bit thick so i'm just trying to remember how much over i need to go here uh yeah scrapbooking papers might be a bit thick for this but you could all you could use them you could so that one's actually going to fit oh no it's a bit narrow so we'll keep that for something else i'm just going to grab another sheet um, what else could you use? Yeah, letters. Um, you could use any type of paper, really. There's, it doesn't matter, but I just liked, I just wanted to have a purpose for these things because I really did, did um, hit the jackpot and get a lot of them. And so I just want to have different ways to use them because they're just sitting there. I mean, the obvious is to put them in a journal. Of course, that's very obvious. Um, but I wanted to think of other things besides that. And, you know, we do tend to hoard things, and I just think there's no point. Now, I might cut this one. Now, will I get more out of this one? It's not going to be wide enough for the other one. So, I'll cut it this way, though. So, I need to go a little bit over four and a quarter for that one. I think that's just the easiest way to do it. And I do need... Now for this one, I could have, no, that's not going to work. And that's not wide enough for that one. So I'll grab another piece. Let's see how wide this one is. Four and a half. Okay. Fun little project, I think. I haven't made a sample. I hope I remember what I'm, what like what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so my next job I want to do is these are going to be a pocket, and I'm actually going to. I want the pocket to come up to about here, and I'm actually just going to fussy tear it. I don't want it to be straight. I want it to be torn like that. So that's going to glue down there like so and I like the reason why I wanted it to be transparent is I am not covering up anything on the reverse side of these checks and they are they are lovely they have they have the um, stamps and they have the little tax stamps and everything and so I think it's really cool just to use um, a bit of vellum now the only thing about vellum is it's a bit of a bore to glue down because it doesn't take straight away so try not to put too much glue and then I think it'd be fun, well, I won't do it on, it's not part of the challenge, but it could be fun to stitch around them. 
So I think also the vellum is going to be giving the um, pr uh, the the check. We'll just call it a check, so I don't have to say that big mouthful of a promissory notes. Um, it's going to give them some strength as well. Now, that's the thought anyway. So you just have to keep running your fingers over. I've just got to get my wet one. I'll put my water on top of it just a sec. I just want to wipe off the glue a little bit. Okay. Um, and you just run your fingers over it until it, st it sticks down. And then when it's dry, you can stitch. I think stitching would look nice, actually. And then I'm going to get this piece... And that piece, see the curve is going up there. I don't know if you can see that. This one, I'm going to have the curve going in the opposite direction. And I'm going to put that on there. So I've got double pockets. So I saw like a Happy Mail that was done with the transparency vellum pockets. Um, I think I saw it on Pinterest or something like that. And... Um, and, and then I just thought, well, I can do that with those those checks. Those checks can be used because they're long and narrow. And I, rather than doing like a scrapbooking paper or something like that for something different, I just give my table a clean while I'm at it. it. Needs it. Not my table, my mat. My mat leaves a lot to be desired. So that's that bit. But then we'll do a little bit of decorating. But we'll put that one aside and we'll do the next one. Now this one... I only need, because I'm going to have that bit there, and I'm not covering up too much because the stamp is on that side and it's, it's bled through there, but I'm not covering up too much here. So I'm going to make that a pocket because this one's really long, and I'm just going to tear down this one here. And this, this vellum here I would put aside, and, um, and that can be a pocket somewhere else. So this one needs to glue here like so, and there's my pocket. So around we go. And I am going to, um, afterwards, off camera, stitch around. Just you go down there and then around the bottom but I mean for example this one you could even leave it the flap open sort of thing like you could have it flap down but I'm not going to I'm going to glue it it's going to be a pocket just make sure my vellum is sticking just run your nails along it wipe it off there and here I just need to run my glue down the two sides gosh I'm a bit late doing my video today. Um, I think I mentioned we went up and had lunch with Steffi in San Marino. We just, I just messaged him and I said, um, I need to do the shopping and there's a, this, the same type of supermarket that I normally go to near where he, where we would have lunch. And so that's going to look like that. Um, and so I just said, well, we might come up and have lunch because I needed to do a shop and we didn't have anything here for lunch. So we went up there and it was good. I had all these different yummy salady sort of things. Okay, so that's that. Now I've got this one. So this one I folded it down because I folded it down that much because of the the marca de bola, which is the tax stamp. So um, I wanted to be able to see that. I didn't want to fold that down, so that's why I did that. And I love that you can see what's on the reverse side great way to use them rather than hoard them because what's the point in hoarding them you don't get to enjoy them and you just clip them into a journal or tip it in it could be tipped in with you know tipping in is like when you add a little bit of washi tape well we'll have to show you that one day that's that word comes from amity and when i first um before i even started my youtube channel i was watching amity and i was watching nick the booksmith i'm um, trying to learn um and I would think I was watching, I started watching Andrea and then, and also Gail a little bit after those two. Uh, I found, you know, how YouTube um, recommends people. And then I found Tracy and yeah, I was um, 
you know, these ladies are all amazing. And, and anyway, I'm talking about tipping in. Tipping in is, um, I, I don't know if Amity made it up, but she used to say it all the time. So that's why it reminds me of her. Um, and it's, you know, you get a bit of washi tape and you put it down here and you stick it onto your page. Or you put some glue on your washi tape because it might not be sticky enough. And then you flip it over and you put some washi tape there just to make sure it sticks. That's tipping in. And then you've got a little flippy thing. So I'm going to put that one there. Now that one's a bit deep, so we can tear a bit more off. I could use that one, but I don't know if it's the same width. It is the same width. How lucky is that? So I'll use that one. And it's because I don't want such a deep pocket. And you could even put three pockets. If you wanted three pockets and really make it a loadable thing, you could have an, an even shorter pocket attached to the one that I'm about to glue down. I think I'm talking a million miles a minute because I'm very excited about this idea. Not so much the, the pockets sort of thing, but just the idea to use these checks. Because they're a pretty standard idea, putting pockets on something to put things in. But it just the idea to use the checks, that would, that's very exciting to me. I like things to have a use and a purpose. I don't like doing things that just... Well, sometimes I do some stitching just because, but... um. Uh, because it's pretty but mostly I like things to have some sort of purpose and function so I'll tear that. I don't want my pockets to be too deep obviously this pocket's going to be bigger than the other one so you put taller things in there now this is a bit wide I'll have to just trim that off afterwards I won't worry about it let's come down here to there Run your nails along. It does crinkle a little bit, little bit the vellum, but it is what it is. Glue that down. And grab this. Yes, this is going to be good. vellum as I said it will be stitched afterwards so unless I see that it's taken really well but so this one then I can just grab my scissors I should use my cutter but I'll just grab my scissors and cut off the overhang try not to cut the check So yeah, prom promissory note is kind of, it's like a promise to pay. And they used to flip it around sometimes and um, and then and then sign it. And then it was like passed on to the next person. So sometimes you can get them and they've just got a whole lot of names. Now I've torn that one a bit short. Hmm. Got to be careful of that. Doesn't matter. This one I have a shorter pocket. Um, yeah, and then they have all these different names and dates and lots of stuff you know stamping like these sorts of stamps happening on the back i think these are more checks because it says paid and it says when it was paid even today in italy you still quite often on um you know things like this um if you invoice someone you often have to put on a um it's called a marca da bolla which is like a tech a tax stamp stamp duty maybe in english i'm not quite sure yeah, some it's like a form of tax, and we they still we still stick them on things here. Like all invoices, I think have to have them. Okay, right, and then this one is a bit tall, so I'm going to tear that one down even further, like so, and that will go there. I have no shame. I just use my stuff. Okay. Okay, I've got a couple more to do. 
Now let's be careful. Careful, Rachel. Don't tear it too low. Okay, good. Like so. I don't know. I think it's just nice. I, I never remember what I make. If I'm honest, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I've had to go back and watch my own videos sometimes because I can't remember. Um, but it is nice to have a different repertoire of things that you can put in a journal, especially if you're selling them, because you might make you make many. So then it becomes a bit of a bore if they're always exactly the same. And there's always something new and different to put in. And I like the journals to have fun things to interact with. That there. Now this one's curling up. It's okay, it'll calm down. You can see the glue spreading into. I probably put too much glue on it. Highly likely. So yeah, as I said, easily done with scrapbooking paper, um, printed papers, printed checks, old letters, printed old letters, real old letters that are strong enough. Um, any of those will work. Um, but it is fun to use these things because they're already the, the right, you know, sort of shape. I love that. It's just so pretty. Vacuum Oil Company. Mm. Oh, look at those stamps. So you wouldn't want to be covering that up, would you? 1937. Okay, let's concentrate. Time is a ticking. Not. Oh, look, I've torn that one down too low, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. It still does the job. Run the glue along. So if you've got um, Fabri-Tac or Art Glitter Glue, I don't have those, but if you've got those glues, I think they dry really quickly. So you probably have less issues with the vellum sticking down than me. Because my glue needs to just start drying and then it will take, but you sort of have to insist a little bit until it starts to dry. Should be drying quickly, it's pretty hot here. So I'm just running my finger over this one, it's not sticking, that one's stuck. This one's curling. I was highly entertained yesterday watching the the tennis. I don't. Um, well, any, I don't. We don't um, have any sort of pay. We don't um, have pay sports channels because I like watching the Olympics and I like watching um, um, sort of world sort of things like world championships i like watching i don't even i don't even know how you play soccer but i like watching the world cup it's fun uh and so anyway yesterday was the europeans um championships for the soccer and um it was italy and the uk so i kind of felt like you know my mum's english although she's she's been in australia since she was five and my grandparents were um english and and my dad's side is you know, dad's, I mean, dad's like, I don't know what generation, Scottish. Uh, they came to Australia in 1852, so, so however many generations that is, born in Australia. Um, but I figured I couldn't lose, could I? Because I've got, I have, I've got my husband's Italian, so obviously great excitement. Sorry to all my UK friends, but the Italians won it. Um, but I couldn't lose because if the Brits won, well, you know, part of my family and if the Italians won well that's that's not my blood but it's part of well it is Lulu is um but that's part of my family too so anyway we we enjoyed watching the match last night it was a bit stressful although not too bad for me because as I said I, I won either way um but um I also watched the tennis because on the regular tv here they don't normally put Wimbledon on they're not like the Aussies where it's on tv all day every day um free tv and so, because I don't, um, I don't 
we don't subscribe to uh, Sky or Foxtel in Australia. Uh, we don't get the all of those sort of sporting events over here because there's usually no Italians, but there was an Italian in the final with Dokovic, and he was a handsome young thing, and and boy did he play well. Steph and I watched it. We totally enjoyed. I mean, Steph was like, and and he doesn't play tennis. He's never played tennis, so he was like, what what are the rules? And I'm like, well, I you know I haven't watched it for a while, but my dad's an avid tennis player. He's he's 79 and he still plays tennis four days a week. He loves it. Um. But, um, yeah, so we, we had a whole day of sport. A whole day of sport. It was a lot of fun to watch. I like watching, having days like that that are unexpected. So um, I don't know if anybody else watched it. I'm sorry in the UK if you were disappointed. It is disappointing, but, you know, it happens. It's a sport. Someone wins. Someone comes second. Sometimes England wins, sometimes Italy wins, sometimes someone else wins, France, someone, someone's got to win it. So it's not really the end of the world. But I know, I do feel, I do feel for the teams when they don't arrive to where they wanted to in those sporting events because they do work so hard to get there. There's so much that goes into it, I think. So I understand the, the disappointment. So there you go. I've chatted you through the gluing. I've given my table a wipe so we don't stick everything down. I'll have a sip of water and we'll, we'll get cracking with the next job. So what's next? Well, let's have a look at them. I was thinking an option would be to put um, a little hole there and you can tie some... You can tie some baker's twine around or whatever you like um i might i'm going to decorate this a little bit and i may put a little something there well let's have it we'll just have a look at each one so let's just have a look here i'm wondering if i might like to see these stamps here some sort of stamping on there maybe i'm not sure I want to find in this big mess here. I think I have the postal sort of stamps in here. Oh, there might be a good one there. Now, I get these are all from these particular ones are all from AliExpress. Don't want that one. Ooh, they do become a bit slippery sometimes. See what else is in here. I like that one, those ones. Where's the other one? Oh, that's cute. Now that is a stamperia, I think that one. I don't know where that one came from. Okay, so that's those. Those would stamp okay on there. They're cute. And then we've got, oh, here's the postal sort of ones here. So let's just grab, I might stick a little bit of old book page on there, I think. Me thinks. If I can find any. Now, do I have any handy? Or I could use, actually, I could, why don't I use something from here? Oops. I could use, like, for example, take this here. I still didn't get. I mean, it's just on the other table. I didn't. Still didn't grab my other ruler. I just want to tear down here. And then I think I'll tear that by hand. See, I'm not covering anything up there because, look, there's nothing under there. Put that there. I don't think I want it quite that big. Mm -hmm. Put that there. Let's just think about this. And then do a stamp on there. Why not? Okay, so grab my glue. I think this glue will stick on there. So 
so much fun. Do I say that every week? Because it is fun. It's just a lot of fun. So that's that. And then I'm thinking what's coming into my little mind is, do I want one of these sort of stamped labels, but a more, would that be messy if I stuck, oh, I like that. Stick that there. I think I'm going to stick that there. Do I want one that's been that's decorated? I like them all. Oh, well, there you go. That's fun when something that you've created before and you like what it looks like, and you get to use it. Could have a really busy one. No, not, I don't want the really busy one. Oh, that just came off something else. That's not stamped. I didn't stamp that one. Okay, well, I like those two, so let's make a choice. I was going to stamp on this one, but I might not. I might just put that there. I'll stamp on another one. I think. Or I could take one of these number stamps that I got at AliExpress. I mean, I'd love to stamp the bug. Bugs got, looks funny, the bug to me. I'll stamp the butterfly. Sorry guys, I'm just looking at them. Looking at them and thinking. Put a little butterfly on there, why not? So let's just grab my thing. You know what I'm talking about, you know, my perspex thing. And I'm going to do what colour? Brown. Brown comes to mind. I don't know if that will stand out. I've got another brown. Just a minute. Uh, I think I'll use this brown. Oh, that's the door. I'll just have to go and get that just a okay, sec. Okay, so I'm back. I just um, I have become the drop-off point for the lady in front of me for her parcels. <laughs> Ew, no, honestly. Anyway, I'm going to put this little butterfly here. I'm a bit nervous. Cute. Okay, that'll do. I'm not going to put anything on there. And then I haven't decided whether I want to put like a tie on it. And then I'm thinking here, hopefully I don't smudge. No, it's not on the vellum, so it won't smudge. Um, I was thinking, you know, just something little. You don't want to cover it all up because it's original ephemera. But maybe you could have something. Just something, just a little bit of something somewhere, just to make it pretty on that side as well. Because I certainly wouldn't be sticking it down. I think that's really pretty. What, what do I have going on here? I think that's pretty. And I would like some book page, but I can't see where my old book page is. Let me see here. Uh, now, my papers are in a bit of a mess because... My daughter has been, well, I'm not going to blame, well, they are in more of a mess than what they were before. This is 1700s paper. Why don't we stick that on there? I don't care if I cover that up. I've got the date over there. And I like the old book paper on there. Um, my daughter has been collaging, so <laughs> they're all a bit all over the place. More, or more all over the place than they were before. Let's say that. If that's at all possible, well, it is. So we'll go until 4A5. That will be, well, I'll go until I finish them. Well, I think so. But um, that'll be my time, timing, time limit. I'm going to stick a flower on. You know, I stick flowers on everything. Flowers and labels. And I've decorated up this stamp, this um, check. And it's original. And I like that. And I'm thinking, you know, here, or otherwise, the other option is that you could, I don't have many in here at the moment, but you could have some, not that colour, but you could have a little tab on there would be nice, actually. Not bright pink. Do I like bright pink? Maybe not bright pink. Pink, bright pink is not it. I think I like those tabby ones more than the... Um, whale tail ones so let me just see for this project not always I nearly fell off my chair 
Um, Better make a decision. Times are ticking away. I don't want that. Oh, I've got. Oh no, I don't want to use that. Oh, this. Or oh, that. This one. So I just cut my piece off so that I can. I shall cut it right across there, and I can fold it. Is that right? Yep. Not very well. And then I can cut a few out. three out of that one that's good I just put the other ones in the box cool I'll use that one with a bit of yellow if I don't get a move along I might only finish one mm -hmm. so this one's going to have a tab as I said you can put a little um, you put one of those whole reinforcers and then and then have some baker's twine or something around it I've got glue there as you do and then you know get your bone folder and run across there and then it's like you know you can carry put things in there you can put journal cards in there you can put things like this in put little labels in there ephemera load them up with all kinds of fun things to play with so that's the idea I think that's fun but we might become braver with the decorating. We'll just see how we go. So I'll just take this aside. So with the digital ones, or you can um, sort of, you can print um, something on the reverse side, or you could stick down. I'm not going to put too much on here because I don't want to cover all of that up, but I don't mind about that little signature there because, you know, I have to cover up something. Um, yeah, you could print, or you could um, maybe glue down some natural coloured tissue paper or pattern paper on the reverse side so it's not white, or print them on uh, like an off-white sort of paper. If you are concerned about... Um, I don't want to be covering up. So let's see here. I think... I'm wondering if I might like something like this. Oh, maybe, or maybe that in blue. This one in blue. And I've got my Ranger Archival ink. And it's cobalt. And I'm going to stamp that right there. It does blur a little bit on the on the vellum, but that'll have to do. So I'm going to blot that. And if you weren't to like what you did, you just can glue some paper over it, cover it up. Okay, and I'm just going to carefully, I don't want to put too much on this one. I think I'm going to leave that one as is because I really like the back of that one. And I think I'll have that like that, but I will put some sort of tab, I think, on here. And not that one that I just cut out, unfortunately. Let's see what other papers I've got here. Could have a book page one. Oh, wait, just a second. Now I had here. No. So guys, I'll get I'll get there in the end. I quite like the colour of this book paper.
I'm going to put that there. And I like the combination of the, the beiges and the blue. So you can still see all of the cool stuff on the reverse side and you know if it's super pretty on the I think that's so pretty I'm not going to cover that up I've got a little bit of overhang here and then it will look nice when you put all the things in okay so we've got this narrow one here and there's not much happening down there so I could put Maybe a bigger piece of that. I don't know why I like putting it on the left. Probably because I'm a lefty. That might be why. I also, because that's straighter and that goes like that, that's why I like it on the left. Now this one's narrower and I'm feeling like I might like a whale tail, but let me I better concentrate and finish this off. What about this 15 cents? What about if I stamp the 15 cents? Where's my thing? Yeah. I'll do it in blue, I think. Or will I do it in brown? No, no, maybe blue, because that's like a blue grey there. Again, it's probably going to go a little bit... I might feel like I might need a little bit of something else under there. Now, oh, that's a real piece. I'm going to slip that in my pocket. Maybe I'll put a little piece of this so that I'm actually getting my 15 on paper and not so much on the vellum. Now, just a minute. I don't want all of that. I'll put that... that something like that I know what do not know what I'm doing so typical Put that there like that and then I'm going to stamp my 15 on there and hope for the best and I like that so do I want to put something up here No. Maybe do I want a little bit of paper there? No, I don't. I just wanted to have a peek over here. And see these little butterflies. So you could stick a little butterfly on there, you could stick a butterfly up here, you could have a butterfly up there. You can do what, whatever decorating on it you want to. It can be as embellished or as a little embellishing as you like. Oh, I like the dragonfly. That's cute up there. I like it there that you can just see. I like that there. I know there's a stamp there. What about on the other side? Oh, I like the other side. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to put anything on the other side. So I am going to put that one on the villain. Okay. And I might like a whale tail on this one because it's smaller. I don't know. I think somehow I liked the tab, this tab on the bigger ones because it takes up more. So you've got these little faux stampy things too that can go places. I think that one can just slide in the pocket. Okay, so a little whale tail here. Oh, that's nice. I think I'll put that one there.
So I'm not putting um, a string around mine. I'm just putting a little tab on them. And then I've got that little stamp there that I, well, I didn't actually finish it, but it can sit there. And then things like this can slide in the deeper pocket. Okay. So this one has stamps there. So maybe I'd be more inclined to put something. No, that looks funny. I'll just put a little bit of um, paper across there. I mean, they don't have to be decorated, but I just like it. That's why I'm doing it. It's just a personal choice. It's like the inking thing. It's just a personal choice. I just I have the old stuff, so I like to just not ink the new stuff because then um, you can see what's new and what's old. Although you can see it anyway, but I just choose not to. Sometimes I get asked about it. That's why I'm mentioning it. I don't know if I'll stamp that. I could stamp that and then you'd be able to see there. I don't know, should I? Let's see what would that look like. Maybe I'll put that stamp up there. So I might do it in the, um, it stays on. Not the jet black, where's the other one? The stays on stone grey. I don't think I could get these off there. The plastic, I couldn't get them off. I was going to put it up here, wasn't I? So it kind of um, reminds me a bit of the stamping. It's a bit blurry. Hmm. Oh well. Ho hum. I'll let that dry. And then, because then I'm I might like to, I'll probably put something there, I'm not sure. So we'll leave that aside for a second while it dries. And let's have a look at this one. What about a little bit of William Morris paper? pretty I'll put that on there so I almost forgot about those and I think I'll use this lovely darker toned a crew colored paper oh dear I ripped it I don't think I want to put anything on the back of that one. That one's just too nice. So it's 4.05 now. Um, so that's my time limit, but we'll just finish off this one. Um, so first of all, I need a tab. Quite like those colors. I 
feel like I need a little something here. Oh, what about a stamp? An actual stamp. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. I think I like that one. But that being blurry there, do you know, it kind of looks like it's under the vellum almost. So I don't mind it, if I'm honest. Put that there. And then flip it over. And I wanted to put something here. I'm not sure what. Ooh, a big green butterfly. And I know some of you are like, why are you covering it up? It's just a choice. I just want to. It just happens. I'm going to put my butterfly down a bit like that. There we go. And I like the colours. So that's that one. So I've got that. These are the ones that I've finished. And I think it's a fun project. It needs some time. Need to sort of have a look at it and think about it and um, maybe evolve it even more. You can even add, I'm thinking like you could even add something like a stamp, like that butterfly right there, for example. Like you can do so many different options. Um, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, maybe a like even a butterfly up there could be cute. Just to, you know, carry it on the theme a bit. So they're pockets. They're like, you know, to carry things. You could put a journal card and tag in them. Or you put little bits of ephemera and then tuck them into a pocket. Now, I'm not going to make them so that they're riding spots because they're just so pretty on the other side. And I think it's a nice way to find a use for a cancelled check. An old cancelled check so that's cute that's a narrow one and as I said I have some other ideas for these so I'll be doing those over the next couple of weeks and there's that one and I don't mind that that it was a little bit blurry that's okay and there I didn't do anything on the back of that one and then there's this one here and I put a butterfly and I really like those colors I think it's a surprise when you turn it around I know I covered those lovely numbers there but you know you can't have it all and then I've got these three still to do, so I might even just put those in my to-do box. Um, like here, I might put a little bit of paper. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, something like that there. Oh, yeah, I like that. And a tab here, and then that's for the field in the space. And I would, I would definitely not cover that up. Um, this one's something there, a tab. And you could even have a flower up there or something if you wanted to. And then, love that. Yeah, so there we go. So that's my Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So as I said, if you don't have these old checks, um, you can do use printed ones or um, you can do it with papers. Obviously, you can do it with papers, but that's, that in you know, that's sort of um, fairly was like a fairly obvious choice was to do it with papers um, and as I said I wanted to find a use for these checks here if you had a cool envelope like a long cool envelope that had cool stamps and it was a like you know not bright white and whatever like an old envelope and it had writing you could take the back off of the envelope and, and fold the envelope over and use that it's about the same sort of length so yeah i hope you enjoyed that i certainly had fun and yep i like having fun with this sort of stuff and yeah and i will be back again soon so hope everybody's well and happy and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it something different and i will see you again soon bye